today I want to talk about food plot strategy. In particular, I want to talk about when you should consider getting rid of some of your food plots. This year we're going to ditch about three acres of food plots. And I'm going to tell you exactly why, because right now they are definitely not helping us. They're actually hurting us from a hunting standpoint. All right, so you can see this one is planted right now, but this will be going away. I already have plans or made plans a while ago to plant trees right here. We had some extra seed this year, so we still threw it down. But again, this is all about hunting strategy. This does not work well for a hunting strategy because when we have food right here, what it does is it pulls the movement away from other areas that we're hunting. So we don't really hunt on this particular food source, but it was at the end of a big field. So again, it was an easy spot to stick some food, good soil. But the problem is, is our main hunting is right over there and right over there. So when we put food here, it pulls away from the hunting we're doing over there and the hunting we're doing over there. So we had to ditch this food if we wanted to make those other stand locations hunt a lot stronger. You can see, so here's the, the part we do hunt. We got this set up really nicely. Beans, corn, clover. I and mean, we literally got the runway laid out for them right here. And then we got a stand right up over here. So by getting rid of this food, the other thing it's going to do is make that stand hunt better. I get more activity over here, as well as give us a spot to blow our scent. So before, we'd have to hunt it and get our scent to go that direction, which that's an east wind. That's tough to come by, but now we can blow our scent more into this plot because uh, there won't be food here. It's going to be spruce trees. So, sometimes we've got to get rid of the food. Sometimes it actually works against us, and in this circumstance it did. So this plot over here is one we're keeping, but right here we're ditching the food. Because what would happen is the deer would sit right on this hillside, I had a camera there last year, and you'd never see them down that direction. So we're pushing the movement into where we want it. So we're ditching that. I'll do spruce right there as well. That's going to be our axis in to plant our, uh, our food plot over there. But this is going to be gone, this is going to be gone, and this will be a new axis route for us on the farm. So because this is going to be an axis route on the farm, that's another reason why we're ditching the food here, and we're ditching the food here. I would like to axis away from food if possible. Well, for sure for morning hunts, axis away from food, and then leaving evening hunts, axis away from food or leave away from food. So that's why this had to go and this had to go because this had to be a new access route to a few of our morning stands. So I wanted to get rid of the food around here to clean up this access route. So here's another part that was food that isn't food anymore. This will all be planted into spruce next spring. Now the biggest reason why we got rid of this, this was a spot we just kind of planted because it was a good spot to feed the deer. We didn't hunt it. Um, but it was, it was good soil, grew some nice crops, and we wanted a spot to feed some deer. But the problem is, is that it messed with our access. This is our main access trail into a few of our stands. And we don't want to be using this access trail and be walking directly by food in the morning or even walking past food when we're leaving in the evening. So this trail is set up nice in that it doesn't go near any bedding. It's got good screening along, you can see the switchgrass, but this little piece of food right here definitely uh, did not help us outside of the fact that it fed the deer. Now you can see the food plot right up there. That is a spot that we hunt. We want food up there, but we want to box off that food. We want to screen off that food by getting some spruce planted in here and clean up this axis route. So because it didn't help us from a punting strategy standpoint, it was time to finally get rid of it, and we finally made that call this year to ditch this piece. Uh, this is the last spot that we ditched this year. Now, I've done videos on this one already. But what we did is we planted spruce in here. 
that two acres of spruce might be uh, tough to believe that with the right look at the ragweed that took off this is crazy but believe it or not if I dig in here all the spruce look really really good normally grass is the thing that really hurts a first year tree planting broadleaf plants don't tend to uh, to hurt them as much so the spruce looked great but we had to get rid of this two acres because it was literally a spot we just planted to feed the deer we didn't hunt this at all um, it didn't benefit us from a hunting standpoint what it did was split the movement we want the movement to be going up the ridge and it actually would split the movement some deer would go up some deer would drop down so we needed to take this out of food and the other thing is is we got a rut stand over there that we're going to have to use this as an access route through here so we want to get it's a morning stand so we want to get rid of the food so we can clean up our access as well so this one was strictly for the deer um, but again it, it just ended up hurting us too much from a hunting strategy standpoint so got rid of the food planted this thing in spruce spruce look phenomenal if this turns into bedding that would be great we'll get some thermal bedding in here with the spruce um, that would just help feed the movement up the hill where we got the really good food sources but it was time to go, so we ditched it, and it's gone, and it's a sea of ragweed right now. If I walked through it, I'd probably bump a deer, because standing in this ragweed, it's five to, well, it's all of five feet tall. Here's face level, but I would guess there's at least some fawns bedded out here. Either way, it was time to go, and the trees are doing great in here, so no more food. I just had to prove that there's spruce in here follow the row. I'm sure I'll find the next one. They seem to all be alive. Just gotta kick it to the side. Oh, that might have been a spot where I lost one. There's my next one. I mean they look pretty nice. So ragweed's not hurting them. If you're planting trees, grass is your culprit. But look at, I mean that is a beautiful healthy tree right there underneath the ragweed canopy. So food plots are great, but sometimes they can actually work against us. So this was the year we finally tweaked our food plot system so that we can make our farm hunt much stronger. But still plenty of food plots on the farm. I don't know how many acres we got, I think 10-ish. So we need the food plots because they set the line of movement for the deer create those predictable movement patterns but there are times when they can actually hurt us so anyway hope you enjoy the video y'all take care god bless